What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the locker room, week eight of season seven of the GBA. The San Francisco Giantes are team building for the Florida Gators and their coach, Gator. On the left, you can see the six Pokemon I'm bringing this week, the left being <laughs> that way. And above me, you can see the 11 Pokemon that Gator has drafted and that he might be bringing to the game. Now, Gator is another one of the newcomers this season, and he's also an incredibly skilled battler on the showdown ladder. I think he showdowns primarily on his channel. Uh, runs with a crew of very good battlers, and they all kind of build each other up and learn from each other. And uh, <laughs> I don't really have that, so uh, he has an advantage in, in that regard, but I'm feeling mixed about this matchup. I, a lot of the other matchups, you go into it with a sense of confidence. Um, I went into my battle against Callum with a sense of confidence because I felt strongly that my team had good answers to his. And it was all about figuring out where the twist might be. Uh, this battle, I'm nervous because I found it difficult to build to have something for everything. And so there there needs to be a little whimsy in my team because I'm not, I'm not positive how else to really take this one. Uh, he's got a lot of threats. His team is very good, like, OU standard-wise. And my team is a little... A little less conventional and a little less powerful. Like he's got a lot of OU threats. I think my team is more residing in UU, which is not. Again, that's just usage. That doesn't necessarily mean much about power, but it just the fear that comes with that is definitely uh, a definitely big one. So let's go over my team a little bit, and we'll talk a little bit about his 11 Pokemon. Uh, as you can see on the left, and as you can now see on the the major screen here, I'm bringing Genghis Gar, the Gengar Fresh. The Arcanine, Dumbledore, the Conkelder, Moana, the Tapu Fini remix is coming back week two that he's been on my roster. So happy for this little guy. And Bronzong is uh, is making his return this week. So let's kind of go through what we've got here. Gengar is running Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, Hidden Power, Fire, Energy Ball. Now Gengar is uh, sits at a pretty good speed tier, uh, but not the absolute best in that he uh, he speed ties with Latios, which is kind of a problem. He is outsped by Halucha, um, kind of forces Halucha to bring something for it because he won't kill me with, uh, he won't necessarily kill me with an acrobatics. Uh, obviously there's a lot, Halucha has a pretty good move pool, there's a lot he could pack for me. Um, but yeah, Halucha also outspeeds me there, uh, as does Whimsicott. Um, but, I'm a really good switch into Whimsicott. He could pack the knockoff, which I've seen Gator bring on Whimsicott uh, in the past. But, outside of that, uh, I'm very fast, I'm very hard hitting. Uh, Gator wants to battle, but I'm going to finish up this video really quick. Uh, I already gave him my friend code, so he can add that and we can get this going in just a second. Um, I'm bringing Shadow Ball because he doesn't... He, his team's not great against Ghost. In general, it's... It's a pretty safe click for me. Um, and then Sludge Wave is really good uh, at taking out the, the Whimsicott if I need it. And is... A, I mean, he's got three Steel types. But the thing is, he's not going to bring all three of those Steel types. He's going to have to prioritize based on what he thinks is valuable on those Pokemon. Um, so I, I like Gengar in this matchup. I like having a little bit of speed. I like having the power and the immediacy of that power. He's running a Life Orb set this week. Uh, Hidden Power Fire is there to um, help me with the Ferrothorn if it comes, just because it's uh, it'll resist the Shadow Ball and the Sludge Wave. It also helps against... Um, it's a safe click for if I'm kind of unsure about a lot of things and Whimsicott's there and Galvantula's there. It's kind of safe in that regard. And then Energy Ball is good for Puku Muku. It's good for Blastoise. It's good for the um, Mamoswine. Uh, it kind of gives me it gives me a lot. He has a lot for a lot on this team. I was considering running um, Sub here. I was considering running uh, a Sub Disable set, maybe with like Will O Wisp or something. I ended up going with this just because it feels. Like, what Gengar needs to be on this battle is uh, a quick Mon with a lot of power, not a not a Mon to play around with with what's going on on the screen. So, uh, that's Gengar this week. 
Uh, we have Fresh the Arcanine, Choice Banded this week, not Defensive, which is the only way I've run Fresh so far in, in these battles. Uh, he's still running Intimidate. That was a last minute change. Originally I was going to run Justified, and the reason is I'm going to skip ahead of Fresh and come back to him. Uh, my Bronzong is my primary uh, Mammoth Swine answer. It's also a really good switch into the Latios, so it's very counter his high tier Mons uh, and Mons that he's likely to bring. He's brought, he's definitely brought the Latios, not every week I don't think, but certainly almost all of the weeks. It's his Z Crystal user. Uh, and he also has the, the Mammoth Swine and I resist his dual stab. However, Mammoth Swine is very powerful and learns knockoff. So I have the Colber Berry in order to help me take that on. Now, if I switch into a Mammoth Swine, it's very likely he's gonna follow up with a knockoff. And so what I wanted to do was have Fresh with Justified so I could switch in on that, collect that knockoff boost, and be choice band power without the choice band limitations. That would allow me to click close combat one turn and then follow up by switching moves the very next turn if I wanted to without losing all of that power. Uh, I ended up going with Intimidate because in theory I could still do that same move and cripple that Mamoswine, but more importantly, it helps me with an additional layer against Hawlucha. Because while I have a lot of things that can kind of do stuff to Hawlucha, like I don't think Hawlucha is going to run wild. Hawlucha is a threat and I don't really have anything that's just like, this is my Hawlucha answer. And I don't just mean that in the six Pokemon I brought, I meant on my entire team, unfortunately. So um, it helps me to have fresh choice banded with extreme speed. Uh, it gives me a lot of power against him. I can two-hit KO him with extreme speed. Intimidate will lower his power as long as he's not currently behind a sub. I gotta play around the fact that he's gonna sub and he's gonna have a citrus berry because that's almost always what Halucha does have. He doesn't have to have that, obviously. He can play a lot of different other ways. Um, but that's, you know, a big, it's a big threatening set that I'm gonna be on the lookout for. So that's the, um, that's the fresh set. Flare Blitz, Close Combat Crunch hits almost every member of his team super effectively. The only things it doesn't, I think, are Puku Muku and Blastoise. Pretty sure. Um, we can just run through it real quick and find out. Crunch for the Latios, Close Combat for the Heatran and the Mamoswine. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, not the Halucha either. Uh, yeah, nothing for the Puku Muku, obviously. The Flare Blitz for the Whimsicott. The Flare Blitz for the Galvantula. The Close Combat for the Diggersby. Uh, Flare Blitz for the uh, the next two Steel types, Ferrothorn and Dillblade. And then, yeah, nothing for the Water types. So, I'm uh, not trying to play weird around this. Not trying to make this a Water type counter. Uh, if he brings... Puku Muku, that's a good switch into Arcanine. It is. Um, I'll probably hit it with a crunch, maybe try and get a defense drop or something, and then get out of there. Or stay in. I, <laughs> who really cares, right? Um, then we have Dumbledore. Dumbledore also running a similar type of coverage. Drain Punch, Knock Off, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, I think literally does have something for everything on his team. So I'm running Expert Belts on this because I want. I still want the power... Still want the Iron Fist Expert Belt power. Was considering running Sheer Force Life Orb. However, while that makes my coverage move stronger, it actually makes Drain Punch weaker. Um, it doesn't have priority this week, and I may come to regret that. Um, because a priority Mach Punch would be so huge uh, for a lot of the things on the team. But I... I don't have it. I might have to bluff around it uh, this week, but Drain Punch, Knock Off, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch is literally something for everything on his team. Um, Moana is running an Air Balloon to be a, a one-time switch for the Mamoswine. Now, I'm anticipating the way I've seen Gator play with his Mamoswine. He's done it a couple different ways. He's played uh, a more balanced uh, Mamoswine set. Uh, I've seen him, you know, running Freeze Dry, Naive Natures, and uh, I've seen him run... Uh, focus sash on it. I've seen him run a V on it, but I know for a fact that he whether he, whether he's memeing or whether he really believes it's a good set and it could be either of those things. I've seen him run adamant life orb, um, mammoth swine, and this is a one-time answer to that. If he thinks he's just gonna click, um, if he thinks he's just gonna click earthquake, so. Air Balloon can help me with that, can potentially give me another switch into Mamoswine. Surf Moon Blast, 
Uh, this is not true. It's not hidden power poison, hidden power poison. It's hidden power poison and honestly, I forget the last move. I think it's taunt, but it might be defog. I, I forget. It's, it's not an attacking move. Um, the hidden power poison is to punish a um, Whimsicott that thinks it can switch in for free. Um, unfortunately, I am pretty well walled by Ferrothorn with this set. But if he sees a hidden power come off, he might assume it's fire for the Ferrothorn. Um, Surf, will, is, Surf and Moonblast are really good coverage against a lot of the other members of his team, specifically some of the higher tier threats. Remix is an incredibly good switch into Heatran. It's a really good potential answer for me to counter a Latios on Revenge. And he doesn't have a fairy. No, he does have. He has, he has one fairy. Um the Whimsicott, so can't necessarily counter sweep with this, but if he's a calm mindset or if he uh, tries setting up with the Halucha and I, I get him out of that sub and force him to kill not behind a sub, that can be good for me too. The one thing to consider though is that because I am Choice Scarf, if he does get that Unburden activate, he will still be faster than me because I won't be um, an Unburdened Mon, I will still have my item, whereas he will not. So he will outspeed me there on a setup Halucha. Um, this, a cute thing about this is that it's a really good switch into the Puku Muku because the Puku Muku might go for, say, a baton pass. I come in and then I get a slow baton pass on and I'm really bulky because I'm actually bulkier than a Puku Muku because I think I have higher HP. No, I probably don't. I think Puku Muku is 55, I'm 48, but I'm pretty close to Puku Muku level of bulk. Uh, because the one thing that uh, Remix doesn't change is his HP. Then I got the Bronzong, uh, as I kind of mentioned earlier, Culberberry, Gyroball, Earthquake, Stealth, Rock, Explosion, just to kind of do stuff. Um, explosion, if I'm just feeling like he's, his time has passed. Culberberry to uh, help me take on the Mammoth Swine. Gyroball won't kill it with the investment I have, but it'll do a lot. Uh, Earthquake is good for the Heatran, if the Heatran thinks it can switch in there all safe. Um... Uh, yeah, it's doesn't have a whole lot for Ferrothorn, but I got lots of other threats that aren't too threatened by the Ferrothorn. Fresh is just an amazing switch into the Ferrothorn. I don't have any hazard control this week unless that is defog on Moana. I don't I don't fully remember if I'm being honest. So um, my goal here is gonna kind of be to push the button with Fresh a little bit because I don't like having to limit my switch options based on fear of stealth rock damage so push the button with fresh remix is a really good lead option especially if i see that he has galvantula because that means i can get webs up in addition to him uh, and then force him to either decide to defog him away or we just both take it or maybe he goes for the the kill on ditto and doesn't set up his own webs could go a lot of different ways, but that's the team, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would have brought, and I'm going to get into this battle with Gator right now. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.